Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, my name is Cheryl and I am a travel agent that specializes in Disney. So today I wanted to talk to you about the 2024 packages that are coming out in just a few days on May 31st. And Disney is making some changes this year. So it's something that I think is important to discuss. Disney is making some changes. Some of the things that we as visitors and travel agents have asked for. So let's jump into it now and talk about 2024 packages. All right, so with the announcement of 2024 packages, Disney released basically five changes coming up for the 2024 packages. And so the first one on the list was the removal of the park reservations. And that is going to begin with stays beginning on January 9th. So if you have a stay anywhere before that, let's say you're arriving on January 5th and staying through till the 10th, this will not affect you at all. This is just for stays that are beginning on January 9th or later. So if you buy a date-based ticket, which also includes tickets that are purchased with a package because you have essentially a set date that you are planning to use these tickets within. So, you know, let's say you're traveling check-in on May 10th, leaving on May 15th. That is a considered a date-based ticket. If you have any sort of number of days in between the 5th and the, or sorry, the 10th and the 15th. So, if you have a one day ticket, if you buy any sort of ticket online, that is going to allow you to not have to make park reservations anymore, which we are very, very excited about. So the second thing that Disney introduced is going to be for annual pass holders, and that is the new good to go days. So annual pass holders are still going to be required to make park reservations on most days. However, these good to go days, uh, annual pass holders are not going to be required to make park reservations. These are most likely going to be on weekdays and non-busy times of the year, but on these specific days you are able to visit if you have an annual pass and not have to make a park reservation. The third thing that Disney announced, which is something that we are very, very, very excited about, something that we have asked for for a while now since before, I don't want to mention it, the C word, is Disney dining plans. So Disney dining plans are going to be coming back. And again, that is going to be beginning for stays, stays beginning January 9th or later. So if you are arriving on January 9th or later, you will have the option to add a Disney dining plan to your vacation package. You must have a room and ticket booked with Disney in order to add this on to your package. If you have just a room only or a um, ticket only reservation, you will not be able to add the dining plan on for your stay. So Disney is going to be bringing back uh, two of their dining plans. The first one is going to be the quick service dining plan, and that is going to include two quick service meals for per night, plus one snack, plus you also get a a uh, resort ref refillable mug, <laughs> this is a bit of a tongue twister, a resort refillable mug for the duration of your stay. And the other dining plan that Disney is bringing back is going to be the Disney dining plan. This is the dining plan that has one table service credit, one quick service credit, and one snack credit per night. And you also receive the resort refillable mug for the duration of your stay. If you have a split stay, let's say that you are staying at, um, you know, you want to start your trip out at Pop Century and end it at Beach Club, that resort refillable mug is still valid for the length of your stay, no matter if you are changing resorts or not. One thing we do know is that uh, alcohol is going to be included for adults ages 21 and up on these um, Disney dining plans. So with your meal, you will be able to add a alcoholic beverage as you know an entree with a drink uh, you can choose between a alcoholic or a non-alcoholic beverage anyone under the age of 21 will not be able to purchase a alcoholic beverage with their package um, as of right now we do not have a pricing for these 
dining plans. It's unclear of whether there's going to be a set price for the entire year for these dining plans or whether there's going to be a bit of a fluctuation in pricing based on when you are visiting. So Disney has said that they will be releasing more information to us on May 31st. The fourth thing that Disney announced is that they are going to be continuing with the extended hours for uh, on-site guests at Disney resorts. So currently, if you are staying at an on-site resort, whether that's value, moderate, deluxe, um, I also believe this includes the Disney Springs resorts, you will be able to take advantage of early morning hours, which means you can enter the park half an hour early before the general public. This allows you to kind of get on rides or get in lines before the day guests come in. Currently, if you are also staying at a Disney Deluxe Resort or a Deluxe Villa Resort, you can take advantage of extended evening hours. And this is generally happening happening twice a week at two uh, different parks, generally Magic Kingdom and Epcot. And on these nights, you are able to, as a deluxe resort guest, stay in the parks for an additional two hours after it closes to day guests. This is a huge, huge perk for deluxe resort guests because usually during these hours, the parks are very empty. A lot of the rides are walk-ons or very, very short waits. So we are excited to hear that this is going to be continuing for the 2024 packages. And the last announcement that Disney made for the 2024 packages is that there is going to be changes coming, coming to Genie Plus. So we do not have many details yet. All we know is that you are going to be able to book your uh, Genie Plus lightning lanes and individual lightning lanes in advance of your trip. We're not sure whether this means that they are going to back, go back to the old fast pass system, which was um, you could book your fast passes at 60 days out, or whether it's going to be something a little bit closer to your travel time. But either way, this is something that we're excited about because one of the biggest complaints about Genie Plus is that you are spending a lot of time on your phone in the park trying to book these individual lightning lanes and the regular lightning lanes for Genie Plus. So that is all. We are very, very excited for these changes that are coming for 2024. Also very, one of the most exciting changes I think is that dining plan is coming back. A lot of people love having the dining plan because it allows them to prepay for all of their food instead of having charges when they arrive or when they return home from their vacation. So if you are interested in booking a Disney vacation package for 2024, please reach out to me at Cheryl at clickthemouse.ca. I'm going to have all my details down below, including my business Facebook page and Instagram page. If you want to go ahead and follow that, my services are free when you book with me. And I also sell a lot of Disney Cruise Line and Universal Orlando and Universal Hollywood packages as well. Thank you so much for, for watching our video and stay tuned for our family vlog we have coming up next week.